just was beyond imagination. It's, I've never seen nothing like that before. Kind of like, it's kind of like a scene like, like Godzilla had run through the town. It was just complete, you know, devastation. It was, it was heartbreaking in some cases. I think all of us that were working that night kind of realized that when sun came up the next morning, we were gonna, we were gonna see some really bad things. Homes were washed off the foundation. The roads had five, six, eight feet of sand on them, had poles down, you had houses in the way, cars, boats, you name it, it was all out there. There was a pickup truck in a hole, face down, and the only thing you could see was the tailgate. Some of the areas where we had our mains were above ground that were previously below ground. Uh, when we got over the bridge and we seen the new 12 inch line and the new inlet. It became very clear that the only option we had to ensure the safety of our employees, of our customers and their property was to curtail service. You're always taught if you can avoid shutting it down, don't shut it down. But in this instance, after seeing how bad it was, it was the right thing to do. The response changed to a recovery uh, almost immediately. The first step was gaining a full assessment of what the impact was and determine a plan to you know, get the system back online. We had a lot of elements working against us and we stayed the course. We sectionalized each area into a section that was workable to, to repressurize within one day's time. We scheduled all the resources that we needed to do the leak surveys and do the repairs. Changing all the meters, regulators, fixing the gas leaks. Oh, we were out there changing regulators, that tear everything down and put everything brand new up there. I don't think anybody thought we could replace the 12 inch in that short a period of time to get the system back up and running. Little by little you realize we got this. It was everybody. Everybody chipped in. From a call center perspective, our first reaction was just to be able to man the phones. Not only did we have to handle our customers who were affected by Sandy, but we also have customers who were not affected. To them it was just regular business. Home services couldn't install the furnaces fast enough. We were jammed with that, doing installs, hot water heaters, trying to do service calls, fixing the other people that didn't get affected. It was very, very busy. It was a difficult thing, but I think we handled it pretty well. The fact that we could turn it around, go into recovery mode quickly, and then get back into restoring quickly, that, that's something I think everybody should be proud of. Whatever it was that we needed to do to be available to assist our customers, we were going to do it. Sandy recovery is going to take a long time, and we're going to bring people on as they're available. More people are making their arrangements to rebuild their homes. Every single day, we're restoring service to more and more customers, and that will continue till the very last one. It was just uh, very impressive to see how the entire company pulled together. It was a bunch of just our ordinary workers went out and did some extraordinary things. It's a group of people that care about each other, and that's what makes this a great company. It's the other family that you have right here. I don't think there's anything they can't rise to. It, it's one of the best companies to work for. We did what we had to do. I don't think anybody can compete with us when it comes to getting the job done, period.